Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I'm a mom of four, we're a family of six, doing mobile home living. I feel like I said that a lot, but honestly I do. It's kind of like second nature. <laughs> so today, once a week, I try to bring y'all a mobile home updates video. Today we're going to be redoing my island. Now I've redone this quite a bit, but it's never been just exactly how I want it. So I'm doing it how I want to do it. I'm not checking it out this time. Doing it how I want to do it, and that is hand painted wood grain countertops which i've done those before a couple of months ago i'll have that video link down below i did an instagram live messed it up it's a long story not really but i don't want to get into it <laughs> you have to go around this so i don't get it on the so i don't get it on on the pillar yeah, yeah I can do that. Shoot. are you sure yeah what are you doing you just playing with it Is no that... i was trying to fix here's your mustache here no oh no. i should probably ask you Make sure it's cut crease. Excuse me? Make sure it's cut crease. Crease? Like the guy who started Cobra Kai! No. <laughs> That's his name, John Crease. Okay, while Shane's putting yeah, on while the Yeah, Shane's tape, doing this. Are you done? Wait, what was that accent just now? Are you done? It's a, I'm done accent. Are you are, done? Are you done? <laughs> I am going to open this. So this is the exact same stuff, just in a bigger can, that I used last time I did this to my countertops. I'm going to have to definitely do a ton of coats of poly because that's one thing I did not do. Wait, and wait, when wait, I did wait, a wait, face wait. mask, pause. When I did a face mask on Instagram Live, I left it laying there and it ruined those countertops. It brought all of it up. I was scrubbing and it still has the texture from the face mask on it. So I even sanded it and everything. So I'm gonna have to do a, a lot of coats of poly and sand in between. So I'm gonna start on this. This is not the same color though. The color I used before was espresso. The color I'm using now is Java Brown because that's the only thing they had in store. to get started on this so early is because it was going to take a long time it takes a long time for this stuff to dry enough to put poly on it that was a question i got a lot in the last video is how long does it take to dry a while at least leave it be you gotta let it dry for at least four to six hours don't touch it or nothing it's like a thicker stain it's a jelly kind of stain but it's a glaze it looks like chocolate Last time I did this, a lot of questions were like, how did this happen? Who who first did this? Who did, Where did you find this at? It originated in my head. <laughs> it was all by accident, um, and it was kind of just curiosity. And curiosity in this case, it, it worked out in my favor because I had never seen this done. I didn't even know it could be done. I kind of just ran with the thought in my mind. I had had a fireplace. I wanted it to have that wood grain look on top because I had painted all white. I had this glaze laying around from a time that I had done my cabinets. I did it in the Rust-Oleum cabinet kit and it came with that glaze. I didn't even use it on the cabinets. I just had it laying around. So I just thought, you know what? I'm an impatient person and I wanted it done then. And I was broke like always. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this glaze and see if it worked. And lo and behold, it worked. And I was able to make it look like wood grain. Now what I wanted to do with this countertop, I wanted to do a little bit something a little bit differently. I wanted it to still look like wood grain, but I almost wanted that torch effect. The torch effect that you see in all the farmhouse, you know, Pinterest things and there it always looks like it it took 10 hours and and sweat and blood and tears I wanted that but without the labor <laughs> and without all that money spent on on a torch because I don't need a torch in my possession honestly um I, I already like scare y'all to death with my saw so I don't need a torch so what I did is I just painted this on you have to go with the grain you gotta imagine the grains there and go with it do the first coat really lightly handed here in a little bit, you're gonna see me going in a second coat. You're gonna do that one heavy handed. So you're gonna make sure, cause I wanted it dark. I wanted it to match my faux ship lap on the back right there that you see. I wanted it to match that. The first coat was not gonna have it doing that. And y'all know I don't like mismatched wood in my house. It drives my OCD nuts. So second coat, you go a little bit more heavy handed. Just make sure there's no like stop and end brush strokes. So you wanna really feather it out. You see me doing here, I started out 
really really harsh and then feather it out that keeps it from having those brush strokes because it's glaze it's like a gel stain and you'll have brush strokes if you're not careful you got to go in really carefully and once you've done it for a little bit you get the technique down and it's super easy it takes no time if this is this is foolproof if I can do it anybody can do it so you just do that and then when you go in to put the polyacrylic you guys will see me go with a really heavy hand and that's how I get the torch look in this video Got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him See, if I hadn't have feathered it out like I do here, then that would have had a stop and a go brush stroke. But since I took a long brush stroke and just lightly started off hard, but then lightly feathered it out, it erased those strokes completely. While the painter's tape champion worked on the painter's tape, I went back and started the second coat on the top because this stuff, whenever you do the first coat, you wanna wait until it's almost completely dry. It takes a while for this stuff to dry. That's a good thing and a bad thing. A good thing because you can work with it, you have a while to work with it. A bad thing because if you're impatient like myself, then it can cause you some issues. <laughs> but I waited about two to three hours before going back and doing the second coat now if i were you i would wait longer than that but if you're impatient like me just go on and do the daggone thing you can fix any mistakes no problem i go back in and do the second coat i do the second coat heavy-handed if i hadn't have done the second coat it would have looked see how it looks here you can tell i tried it looks like i went in with paint stain or something and tried to make it look like a wood grain look how dark the second coat darkens it up you can see there's a harsh line there on the trim of the area you can see where it's just had the first coat and where it's had the second coat the second coat ties it all in do you see how that like that that was a snap like that it's transformed i go back in and fix that little area see I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he 
keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. Can they see in this? No. <laughs> there she is. Shout out, Rainy. I haven't used this. It in looks ages. like mucus. Let's hope there's no like maggots in it. There's fly poop on it. I'm feeling very Laura Ingalls right now. Don't mind me, just churning my butter. I decided to paint the front of my island back to the Stone Harbor Grays. You can see that on the bottom, I had already had it that color before. I think it just adds more depth to it. If I, I liked it white, don't get me wrong, but it was kind of just plain and for my taste anyway. So I think adding the Stone Harbor Grays on the front there, uh, give it a base and it just kind of let it, I don't know, it just kind of flows better in my house now. This paintbrush was crap though and it was killing my back so Shane came to massage my back. <laughs> Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah You want me to tap in? Please Get out of here! It's time for the Awesomely Created Come Show on, Awesomely Created Whoop, Come on, chop, chop. let's go You're the best You see why I hate it? You see why I hate it? No, you're just a baby Nothing's gonna ever bring you down. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. You have to get in the groove. Don't ever stop. Never stop. And don't give up. Let your dreams something. This thing ain't even rolling. I know. I told you. See, that's why See, I See, you should have. You should have been more no, particular no. on what rolled. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Freaking fart taco. You're a fart taco. <laughs> Always. You're a butt burrito. I know you care. No, just shout whenever. Okay, make sure you don't and I'll be out. there. When I was 18. I, I met my first blood. I bet 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 and he made her bend over to the front. Touch your toes high. <laughs> I'll buy you anything. I'll buy you anything. Ring and I'm in pieces. Baby, fix me. And just shake me till you wake me from this bad dream. I'm going down, 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 down. down. <laughs> My first love won't be around and I'm like, baby, 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 oh. The, the, the danger is close behind you, you and there's a stranger out to find you. You let me go on for sure. We also sing that crap in this hat. That always eyes are kill me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter
So ultimately, I did six coats of poly on this. You definitely want to make sure you actually do lightly sand it in between coats. I'm not usually eye about that. Usually, I don't even sand it all. But with this, with it needing to be, it needs to be durable. This, it really takes a lot for the polyacrylic to kind of grasp onto the glaze because the glaze is so like slippery kind of you know what i mean like it's 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 constantly sticky it's like it's like glazed donuts from Krispy Kreme. so you really do need to sand in between and give it time to actually cure and dry okay so what i did to get a more rustic look was i poured the polyacrylic on it and i let it sit there for a minute it takes up some of the glaze it allows you to move around the glaze again so that you get stuff like this, which looks like almost like a burnt, like a torched wood grain look. It helps add like rusticness to it. I kind of just want to be really rough with it. So it, it does that all throughout the top. This is going to add to the farmhouse look. If you got to work quick with it because it is poly and it is glazed. You need like a little squirrel on your shoulder. Give me a sugar glider. I brought my little friend here today. <laughs> you see that right there? That's what gives you the wood look. It's you, but you have to go really heavy handed on your poly brush. And see, some of the glaze will come off on your poly brush. It mixes with the poly. That's okay. As long as there's poly in there, it's going to glass right over. I am going to have to do about six coats of poly on this to make sure that it's gonna be durable enough to be a kitchen counter. If it was something like a table that you never touch or something like that, maybe a shelf, you wouldn't have to do that many coats of poly. But with this, definitely do the poly and definitely don't neglect the sanding between poly coats because it's crucial to it being actually durable enough for you to use as a kitchen counter. If you go heavy handed on it, it really brings out that wood look. Makes it look super rustic. I uh, learned that by accident. <laughs> it's safe to say that I feel rich. I have been busy trying to make you see who I am into. Thinking that. All the decor that you see me using on this is from Hobby Lobby. I got those stools and this tray from Hobby Lobby. I also got this glass jar, which I'm about to show y'all and I'm so in love with it. It is a beautiful, probably one of my favorite decor pieces. I don't really know why, it's simple, but you know what? I'm really digging the simple look. I'm really digging like the bare look too. Even though I have my house a little bit too cluttered with decor, I feel like. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be fixing that soon. Um, but I got this from there and I love it, absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. I've shopped so much for my house that I need to decorate these end caps again because they're so bare. There's nothing on there. So I'll be tackling that soon, but I'm in love with this, y'all. I love it. It's one of my favorite makeovers I've done. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'm in love with this.